I could very easily pit the mascots against each other this time as well, but that's just too easy. I could take an animal that doesn't even exist anymore in the state of Michigan or a poisonous nut. But instead, I'm going to talk about colors. Ohio State's colors are scarlet and gray. Let's start with gray. Um, gray, the color itself, is the intermediate between black and white, which sounds very harmonious. There's a lot of white in here tonight, though. <laughs> it's okay, there's a lot of gray, too. <laughs> and gray, of course, being a symbol of wisdom, Gray, in many religions, is a color that represents humility and modesty. Gray matter is what makes up our brains. In the American Civil War, gray was the color before... Actually, no, let's just skip over that one. <laughs> Earl gray is a very delicious tea. Gandalf the Grey is a very wise wizard who helped two hobbits across Middle Earth to save the universe. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Jennifer Grey, very beautiful actress, Ferris Bueller's sister, was in Dirty Dancing. And then, of course, ladies, Fifty Shades of Grey, need I say more? <laughs> Let's move on to Scarlet. Since ancient times, Scarlet has been a color of power, wealth, and luxury. In modern America, scarlet is most often associated with courage, force, passion, heat, and joy. Scarlet is to be feared, scarlet fever. Scarlet is to be desired, scarlet O'Hara, scarlet Johansson, Miss Scarlet, the hottest character in Game Clue. <laughs> Scarlet is to be respected. In the Roman Catholic Church, scarlet is worn by the cardinal, an ecclesiastical prince, and symbolizes the blood of Christ and his sacrifice. Anybody want to mess with the blood of Christ? I didn't think so. Scarlet is also the color of another cardinal, Ohio State Bird. And the most beautiful thing about the Ohio State Bird, the cardinal, is that the male is scarlet and the female is gray. So that's nice and beautiful. <laughs> Two colors coming together in nature. I took a lot of day quill. <laughs> Don't touch me. on to Michigan's colors, maize and blue. We'll start with blue because that's easier. Uh, blue is the color of sadness. <laughs> Sometimes you say you may be feeling blue or singing the blues. I was going to sing Blue Christmas, but I've been told not to do that. Yeah. Okay. Um, blue is also a color associated with cold and winter. Blue is the color your toes may turn when you get hypothermia. Blue is the color your testicles may turn when Miss Scarlet won't call you back. You're okay. okay. Yeah. I use the medical term. I was told to keep it clean, and blue, if you don't know, is also a term that comedians use. Uh, as a term for being not clean or being dirty. So uh, in, in the, uh, summing that up, blue being, meaning dirty, sad, and cold, all things which represent Michigan nicely. <laughs> maize, I couldn't find a whole lot on the color maize, only that it's a name, it's a color name for the cereal grain of the same color. Uh, cereal, Captain Crunch, Kicks, Corn Pops. These are all symbols of cereal. <laughs> the only other thing that I could find on the, 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 uh, the color maize was that Nike trademarked the color maize. Is that true? And now you can't use it anymore? That is sad. 
No matter what you want to call it, the color is yellow. I mean, let's be honest, that's yellow. Um, yellow is the color of jaundice. <laughs> Yellow is also the color of butter, egg yolks, and other high cholesterol foods. <laughs> Yellow informally is synonymous with coward. You get her, better get back in there if you don't, don't want them to think you're yellow. I don't know who that was. It took a lot of dayquil. And then lastly, yellow is also the color of lemons. And I would like to sum this all up by saying that when life hands you lemons, you make the University of Michigan.